All right, in this video, we're going to look at if statements in MATLAB. Now, an if statement is a, an example of a code control element. And what it does is it controls the code execution depending on the value of a variable. And another way of saying that is that basically it allows different uh, commands to be run depending on the value of a variable. So some examples of when you might want to use an if statement. You can use an if statement to check if the input arguments to a function that you're writing is valid. Um, you can also change the program behavior depending on settings. So for example, uh, you could have a setting to display a plot or not, or whether to automate a safe data or not. Here is the basic syntax for an if statement in MATLAB. The if statement in MATLAB always starts with the keyword if and ends with the keyword end. And then following the if keyword is a logical expression also sometimes known as the condition for the if statement. Now I just want to point out that any statements that you type between the if and the end keywords will run if this logical expression here is true. All right, so let's switch over to MATLAB and have a look at an example. So let me create a new script. And I'm going to declare a variable x, I'm going to x equals 10. And I'm going to create an if statement, if x equals equals 10. And I'm going to close the if statement in the end. Now, if you remember from the logical operators that we looked at quite a few weeks ago now, um, this double equal sign checks for equality, right? So it's not a single equals, a single equal sign is an assignment operator. It creates this variable x and then assigns it a value of 10. The double equals operator checks to see if the value of x has a value of 10. Um, now, if it does, we're going to put in a display statement here so that MATLAB will just print something out. I'm going to say x equals 10. Now, what do you think will happen if I run this code? And if you said that MATLAB will print out this, uh, this string here, then you're correct. So if I run this code, you'll see that MATLAB prints out x equals 10 because x does, in fact, equal 10 here. But let's say we change the value of x to something else. Let's say it's now 15. Now if I run this code, nothing happens because this logical expression is not true. And so this statement does not run. Now we can add another statement to check. Um, you... Now we can add another condition in our if statement by using the else if keyword. So let's type out this example in MATLAB. else if x equals equals 5 and display x equals 5. So let me change this variable to a value of 5. Now if I run this code, you'll see that MATLAB prints out x equals 5. So what happens here when MATLAB evaluates this if statement is it looks at the first condition um, since this is false, it skips this line and then it looks at the next else if statement. And since this statement here is true, it runs this code and then it ends the statement. Now you can have multiple else if statements if you want. For example, I'm going to add a second else if statement here that says if uh, x is equal to 7, then print out x equals 7. And you can have as many of these as you want. Now, the important thing to remember is that the if statement must start with the if, so you cannot start with an else if, but then after that, you can has, have as many else if statements as you want to test. Now, I'm going to run this code as it is again and just keep taking note of the fact that x is equal to 5 here. So if I run this code, you see that the output is still x equals 5. So what happens is that if MATLAB, uh, when MATLAB runs this statement here, um, it will terminate that if statement. So MATLAB does not continue to check if the next uh, statement is true. All right. Now, how do we handle the case if none of these statements are true? Well, you can do so by using the else keyword. And notice that this else keyword here does not have a logical condition behind it. It is just else on its own. So let's go back to MATLAB. So I'm just going to add an else statement here. 
And I'm just going to say x is not equal to 10, 5, or 7. And again, if we just keep x equals to 5 here, and I run this code, you'll see that matlab still prints out x equals to 5. That's great. But now let's just change this to 3. And you'll see that here, it is not equal to 10, 5, or 7. And when I run this code, you'll see that MATLAB prints out the else statement. Now the else statement has a few extra conditions on it. Um, the else statement will only run if the other statements here were false. Um, like I said before, else has no logical expression behind it. And also there can only be one else statement and it must be the last statement of the for loop. So for example, going back to MATLAB, so if I change the position of this else statement, let's say I put it up here before this last, the next else if, you will notice that the code uh, checker will immediately flag this and it will tell you that there is an incorrect usage. So if I ran this code now, um, there will be an error saying illegal use of reserve keyword else if. Right, so the else statement must appear as the very last statement of your if. Um, in your if statement here. Alright, so that's all there is to it.